for the copper test we have two tests one is free copper and one is total copper the following video is a part of the achiever package in case you find the video helpful and want to watch more such videos like bacterial test of drinking water rehardening filter uv sterilizer theory fresh water tank find the link of the achiever package in the description box below you can also check out our courses on merchantnavydecoded.com all the content on the merchant navy decoded website aims at helping you get selected in a good shipping company or college helping you get faster promotions but most importantly guide you to earn respect on ship hello everyone so today we are going to carry out tests on drinking water so now you, as you can see we have this huge kit and slowly slowly we're going to use each and every one uh, stuff present in this kit so first we have to take a sample come on so we are taking 10 10 ml sample of drinking water from the drinking water fountain just outside the engine control room so first we are going to carry out ph test so this is all we need for the ph test let's start we take these tablets and put one tablet into the sample then we use this to crush the tablet as you can observe there is a color change Now we have this comparator where we will put a fresh sample and our color change sample side by side. Now we have a disc with various colors over here and the degree of color will show us the pH. Now we will compare the color on the disc with the color on the sample. as we can see the ph corresponds to 8 as we can see over here now in a similar manner we will test for free chlorine present in the water now again we have taken 2 10 ml samples for this let's continue we will put this tablet known as dpd1 and we will again note the color change and compare it against this comparator so this will give us a idea of the free chlorine present in the water As you can see the free chlorine present is 0.1. Now moving on to the next test. Okay so for the next test we will be testing for total chlorines. For that we need to add this tablet DPD3 in the same sample itself in which we tested the free chlorine. Let's go ahead. as you can see the value matches with 0.1 on the disc so the total chlorine present is 0.1 moving on to the next test so now we we know the free chlorine value which is 0.1 and we know the total chlorine value which is also 0.1 the third test is the combined chlorine value for which we need to subtract free chlorine from total chlorine 
which will give us the total chlorine. Since both of these are 0.1, the combined chlorine value is 0. Okay, so now we'll be testing for high range chlorine. For that, we have to add for one tablet of chlorine HR and one tablet of acidifying GP into one of these samples. And we'll carry out the similar test of comparing the color change with this disc. And this that will give us the value. Let's go on. The value as we can see is 5. Okay, so now we are testing for free copper. Okay, so for the copper test, we have two tests. One is free copper and one is total copper. For the free copper, we'll be putting one of these tablets, copper call number one. And for total copper, we'll be putting copper call number two. And then similar to the other test, we will be comparing the color change with the comparator over here. Let's go on. As you can see, the value corresponds to 0 0.5. For total copper, we'll be adding the second tablet to the same sample in which we added the previous tablet. The value you can see is 0 0.5. Moving on to the last of the comparison tests, we are testing for iron now. So we are putting one tablet. Now we crush it. Putting another tablet right after the first tablet. And we crush it. So as we can see the value is 0.5. So now we will be carrying out the turbidity test for which we have these tubes which can be connected to each other which we will be doing in a short while and after and we have to fill this tube with water. Once we fill the tube with water we have to check whether this black cross is visible from top. If it isn't we have to empty the water un until this black cross is visible. And when the black cross is visible, the level of water will indicate the value of turbidity as it is seen, as you can see it is marked over here. So the lower the, we have to clear the water, the higher the value of turbidity. As you can see we have filled the water with filled the tube with water and the tur and the cross is very easily visible. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the water is absolutely clear and the turbidity is 5 right here. If you found the video helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To watch more such technical videos, check out this playlist on the screen. And find the link of the Achievers package in the description box below. Thank you.